Hey guys, Eric with Ham Radio Concepts, and we are at Field Day 2016. And uh, get some video footage here of where we're at. We're on the Wabasso Causeway, uh, just west of the bridge, Indian River County. You can see we're right on the water. Give you some other, other uh, close-ups here in a minute, but let's go take a look around and see what we have uh, as far as station set up. Let's see what we got going here. All right, so we're checking out what we got over here. This is uh, Willie, Willie KB5FKG. Uh, tell us what we got running over here, Willie. All uh, right, now we got a Yezu 950. We're running on 40 meters uh, phone. And which is single sideband, and uh, we're up to about 39 contacts uh, doing voice right now. Uh, in the uh, computer here, we can also view the uh, states that we've contacted so far. So it's a computer network. Yeah. For those who are wondering, that you uh, log the contacts that you make, so that uh, you accumulate the points for the total event. Uh, how many stations are running right now? Uh, three, three, I believe. Right? And uh, so you got a red stick. What's the red stick for? Uh, it's basically just telling you your three alpha station, W4OT. Okay, so three alpha means uh, three stations. Running uh, off of battery power. Battery power, South Florida, SFL. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, and what are you using, a vertical? We are using, I've got two antennas up. I have a buddy pole right over here. Okay. And buddy pole, dipole. Here we have a uh, Eagle One antenna, vertical antenna. And that's the one I'm on right now. All right. Cool. Let's go check out what other people got going on. Thanks, Willie. Yeah, yeah. All right, and uh, here's KK4CHL, John. Uh, John, tell me what you got going here with the solar I've panels. I've got two 80-watt uh, solar panels here. They're One's a newer model and an older model, but I picked them up for in a marine salvage. Uh, but uh, with this, we have two batteries, uh, gel cells, and we charge all day and operate all day, and then the batteries will carry us all through the night. Cool. So it, it works pretty good. How many watts again? 80 watts piece? 80 watts a piece. And that's running which station right now? Is that? Which station is that running right now? This one right over. What is this over here? Uh, Phil, tell them about your rig. Tell them what? Tell them about your rig. Well, tell them what we're operating tell on me, the solar panels. Tell me what the solar panels are running, Phil. This is W2AR, Phil. Well, we have the solar panels uh, charging a set of batteries in the case down below, along with a charge controller. And that, in turn, is giving us uh, 12 and a half volts, approximately, for the ICOM uh, 756 Pro 2. Uh, we do have a backup power supply in the event we need it. Right. And what band are you running on, Phil? Uh, we're presently on 20 meters. And Can't you're using the, the logging software as well? Logging software as well. This is the, actually the main logging computer for so us. Remember we showed you Willie over there was using the software. Everybody's using the same software logging so that way nobody's getting duplicates. Right. Um, so, Phil, and there's another station somewhere that we'll go check out that's running uh, the software as well. Thanks, Phil. Let's go check out some other stuff. All right, very good. I copy the British Columbia, uh, but I need your full call sign, please, Victor Echo 7. Victor Echo 7, Sierra something Romeo. Uh, say again, uh, Victor Echo 7, Sierra. Copy the Victor Echo 7, Sierra, Alpha, Romeo, and once again, is it is it 3 uh, Delta? Is it 3 Alpha? Is that correct? Then over here under the pavilion, we have uh, Eric KF4 UJO. How you doing, Eric? Good afternoon, Eric. I see you're using something uh, that I've made a video on before, the IC7300. That's correct. We're trying to make a couple contacts on 20 meters here. What are you using for antenna here? Actually, we have that uh, stepper. Oh, the, step, the crank stepper. Right. Right. Okay. 
Very cool. How many contacts have you made? Actually, I just started, so I really haven't gotten too many. How do you like the 7300? Oh, very much. I, <laughs> I've only had it three days. And yeah, that's a nice radio. Yes. You need, turn, you need to turn nice. the fan towards you, Eric, so that way you stay cool. Yeah. Let's go check out the other guys. Thanks, Eric. Okay. Here's the other side of the pavilion here. On the water, look at this. Look at the, look at the view we have on the water. Here's the third station here. This is Wayne working CW. This is the third station on field day. He's operating CW. Wayne usually stays up all night and does CW yeah, until the yeah. sun comes up. When nobody else is awake, that's yeah. the best time. You don't interfere with anybody. Exactly. <laughs> so when he wants to pass the stick to someone else, they can jump on and continue with the uh, point logging for W4LT. 20, I think, and then pass it on. What are you on 20 now? Uh, yeah. Here's what Wayne's using on CW here. Multi band vertical, track vertical. So you can see there's a lot of stuff going on at field day. It's a great event if you can't ever uh, make it. We got one more station to stop at. Let's go check it out. We got a station K4VRB, Don, that's running here. The final station we'll stop at is my little table over here the KJ4YZI table. So I have the dish for Wi Fi which is feeding off of a public hotspot over there on the river. That's going into the router here, which is feeding over there for the logging software. I have my laptop going. I have my FT450, MFJ power supply, my MFJ 993B tuner, my MFJ 434 keyer, my MFJ 935B loop tuner, and my high gain DCU3 rotator controller with the rotator on the tripod which will show you later. Jim is working W4OT on my FT450. Oh, and there's my 20 watt and my 20 meter QRP, QRP sideband rig only. All MFJ station here. And Jim's using a 40 meter balloon, which you'll see on the other video if you clicked on it. 40 meter wire on a weather balloon that we have floating in the sky holding up a hundred foot wire and of course everything is powered with Honda generators they're quiet the ground going out here in the water we got the whole station set up this is field day this is what it's all about setting up for the weekend for a 24-hour event and uh, it's a fun day so hopefully I can get a few videos for you guys but thanks for watching this one 7-3 from KJ4YZI.